Hello zoologists of all shapes and sizes, my name is Chance, welcome to my spellbook, and thank you so much for tuning into the 50th episode of our Beast series, my goodness we're getting up there. Sadly, for the 50 video milestone, we're stuck with a pretty mundane beast. We're looking at the humble cow, which is oddly tough to defeat, but we'll get into that in a little bit. The cat was found in the Volo's Guide to Monsters, and it is considered to be CR 1 quarter, so it provides you 50 experience points on a kill, and it's interesting it finds its way there, but it kind of makes sense when you look at all the stats. That being said, let's check his stats out here. So the cow is considered to be a large beast that is unaligned, which means you can actually ride one if you want. Pretty cool. Uh, AC of 10, 15 hit points, calculated by rolling 2d10 and adding 4 to it. Speed of 30 feet, and one of the highest strength scores we've ever covered. Clocking in an 18 or a plus 4 modifier. Very nice stuff. Taking a look at his other stats, most notable would be his hardiness he has a plus two to constitution quite stupid only a two in intelligence and quite uncharismatic as most beasts are taking a look at his senses there, he only has a pass perception of 10 but he does have access to the charge ability if the cow moves at least 20 feet straight towards a target and then hits it with a gore attack on the same turn the target takes an extra seven piercing damage calculate by rolling 2d6 very cool stuff, also worth noting it doesn't knock him prone like some of the other charge attacks do, so just bear that in mind. Now let's take a quick look at his actions. So the gore attack is considered to be a melee weapon attack, plus 6 to hit, which is outrageous. Reach of 5 feet, 1 target, and deals 7 piercing damage, calculated by rolling 1d6 and adding 4. Very cool stuff, very tough. I would probably mix these into my game as just a rowdy herd that needs to be shepherding. They won't get aggressive unless prompted to be, but something like a fire breaking out or loud noises might cause them to get more agitated. I think that would be pretty entertaining, so how can the party herd them but at the same time not get them too riled up? Very cool stuff. That being said, let me know how you would use them in your game down beneath in the comment section. Also mention any thoughts, questions, comments, or concerns you have as well. That being said, I hope you'll have a great day, and as always, happy researching.